So it's really fun because normally even if you're at home, sometimes you're not exactly calm. For this, it's like you get to have a designated time where you can be carefree and stuff and you try to push out all your stress so that you are relaxed and you feel safe. Welcome to the last day of mask requirements at your school. And while I'm optimistic about where we are in the adventure, what's on my mind lately is how we've not been very good at disagreeing with each other. Hi, I'm Sam Rollins, Chief of Communications for Santa Cruz City Schools with your weekly news. We are, per California guidance, strongly recommending and yet no longer requiring masks in our schools starting next week. It's new ground. What does strongly recommended, not required, mean? It means each student will be making a choice. Now, if your student regularly interacts with someone at school who is immunocompromised or high risk, you may be receiving a letter or message asking them to please consider wearing a mask during those interactions. This will be a request. We may verbally be reminding groups, classrooms, that it is still strongly recommended by health professionals but we will not be individually giving commands or enforcing rules. No one will face disciplinary action for their choices. More than that, we will be monitoring our school environments to make sure everyone's choices are being honored now that we are able to make them. I think this is a test that we are up to, but we will need to remember a few things. Because, of course, the test I'm referring to is the great test of disagreement. Our community prides itself on accepting and honoring difference, in theory. And yet at times it seems the favorite pastime of Santa Cruzians is telling other people what they should be doing. Now, I love growing up in and raising my kids in a place where people can't wait to speak their minds. But I wanted to remind you, people you have to find a way to live with will disagree with you. Counting the minutes until your mask comes off makes sense. Keeping it on for the rest of the year makes sense. We've done a wonderful job as a school community following rules and keeping each other safe. We have not always approached disagreement with as much grace. This part of the process may be challenging, but which part of the last two years hasn't been? We can do it. Keep patience set aside for the people you know you can't understand. It'll come in handy. If we all do it, we'll all do just fine. Now, last week, I gave you the end date of our enrollment period for elementary as March 8th, and that's true, that's the window, but there's a pretty big however here. We're public schools. We don't turn anyone away. Last year, people enrolled on the first day of school, and they all got to go to school. That's kind of our whole thing. We will not keep any child off of this path to success. It's just that we really need to know our TK numbers as soon as we can, so please don't wait. Enroll as soon as possible at link number one. The Latino Role Models Conference is tomorrow, put on annually by our partners at Senderos. This year's free virtual conference features the staggering keynote speaker, Dolores Huerta. This conference is put together to demonstrate the heights of possibility open to all in our community by showcasing the experiences of Latino professionals, students, parents, and community leaders, and to share barriers overcome and strategies to persevere. Join us at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Register at link number two. Finally, the one thing we've all shared through this pandemic, I think it's pretty safe to say, is more stress than normal. This is true of our students, which I bet you've noticed. So for our feature this week, we're going to have a look at Mission Hill to see how the school and the students are coming together to make school the supportive, restorative place it has to be. got to learn how to make spring rolls and sushi. It's like really calming and in a fun way. I want to be a fashion designer when I get older. They love to talk when they are here and mm -hmm. they talk about different things. So it's really kind of a, the old times quilting. Well, I've always kind of liked sewing. I kind of want to do flowers in the middle and a lot of colors. I love the fact that they can feel empowered to do something and to create their own things. I like the process of like seeing one thing turn into another thing. Eggs, milk, dill. 
Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. It just lets you take a break and eating anything. food is like good for the soul. <laughs> So this is our peer tutoring program at Mission Hill. Um, I actually work really closely with the RTI coordinator from B40 and they have a peer tutoring program as well. I really enjoyed it because, you know, the best way to learn something is to be able to teach it. And I feel like that's definitely shown to be true. Um, I really liked it. I think it's fun and cool to be able to teach what I've learned over the past years to someone else. And I think the peer tutoring is helpful for a lot of kids, especially me. I've been having a lot of trouble in math. Thanks to my math mentor, it's just been so much more helpful, especially getting the help from another student. Chase is a great math mentor. Thank you. Luke's awesome too.